Today is my final lesson. I've been trying to teach the world's dumbest students for the last couple weeks. I have one more strategy. What is going on, TFG Squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome back to Papers Grade. Please, you guys love this game. This is the final video until the new update. If you guys didn't hear, they're coming out with a new school. I don't know what the school is. I don't know when the school's coming out, but when it does, I will play it. What hot liquid rock spews out of an erupting volcano? Okay, it could have been coffee. It could have been ash. This guy went with lava, and I'm pretty sure that's right. So far, I have a streak of 91. One, which is unfortunately going to come to an end today because I will tell you what my strategy is later in this video, but I have a foolproof thing that's going to make these kids finally smart. Which is heavier, gold, silver, or lead? Wow, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure lead is heavier, but that's actually a hard question because I know silver and gold are pretty dense. Op I'm going to go with false. I think it's lead. Oh, I was actually right, but you know what? I'm actually not going to blame my student for that one. That's a tough question. What is the power from the sun called? Hot power, solar power, laser. Oh my gosh. She went out of her way to get this one wrong. Also, if you guys want to see more games like this on the channel, don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel right now. We're going to give her an F and that is going to be a streak of 93. I'm going to get to 100, and then I'm going to start my strategy. Complete the word. What? This guy actually did a good job. I don't know why he looks so terrifying. Also, is that his twin brother standing behind him in line, or, or is it a clone? I mean, they are literally blinking in sync. That's kind of freaking me out. Okay, uh, good. That was a volcano. Connect the drawing with the right name. Wow, okay. This has clearly gotten a lot more difficult. I don't know if now it's like high school. I don't know if this is college, but I mean, like in previous videos, we were doing like one plus two, A, B, C. These are actually harder questions. So what does it say? Connect the drawing with the right name. I, 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 I'm conf I don't even know what's going on here. 20 minutes later. Oh, I just figured it out. It's actually extremely easy. You just have to draw a line to the fishing rod and a line to the island. He got it right, though. That's two for two. Him and his clone brother were very smart. Circle the noun in the following phrase. Very. Oh, my gosh. Uh, it, it'd be car. It would be a car is the noun because a noun is a person, place, or thing. There's your English lesson of the day coming from the last person in the world that should be teaching you English. We're going to give her an F. Okay, so now I have a streak of 96, which means we're going to correct four more answers and then enact my strategy of getting the smartest kids in the world. Really quickly, let's see. We have enough money to upgrade the classroom. Is there anything? Oh, a nice uh, TV. Wait, oh, that's a computer. Okay. I was going to say, why are we going to put a flat screen TV in a classroom? If anything, that's just going to distract the kids and make them uh, dumber. Uh, this dude is just standing up on his desk looking like Captain Jack Sparrow in Pirates of the Caribbean. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Upgrade? Oh, oh no, I upgraded everything. Okay, let's go back. Uh, here we go again. It's gym class. I think I said it last time, but my dad was actually a gym teacher. I do not think this is what he did in his gym class. Oh my gosh. If my dad did this as a gym teacher, uh, I, I don't think he's this flexible. This is the most flexible gym teacher ever, and it looks like he's wearing jeans. What gym teacher wears jeans? I have no idea. What are we doing? Like, what are we teaching these? Oh, is it ballet? Oh, I think we're teaching the students ballet. Either that or it's some sort of a strange yoga maneuver. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Tap? Oh, gosh. Oh, um, I don't like this. I don't like this. Can we stop gym class? I want to go back to playing like basketball or baseball. That was weird. Okay, we're back to economics trying to protect our eggs. This girl literally put a band-aid on it. No, that's a failure. All right, I'm at 97. We're two away. This girl, is that? Um, we've got a problem. This egg is hatching. I, I, okay. I don't know how that's possible. I'm pretty sure the eggs that you buy at the store are like unfertilized. I don't think they hatch, but this girl seems to have found one with a chick in it. So, um, I guess that's a, well, technically she didn't crack the egg. It's the bird that cracked the egg. I'm going to give her an F. Okay. I got that right. We're at 98. Uh, yeah, I guess that's right. We got a rainbow egg. 99. I have to get one more right answer, and I have a streak of 100. How many chocolate chips are in this cookie? One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. 
That's 100. Okay, now I am going to start my strategy. Wait, what is this? Calculate tooth. Well, first off, this is a weird question because they have the commas in the wrong spot. Or are they supposed to be decibels? I don't know, but this kid thinks like 257 plus 487 equals donut. That's very wrong. Excuse me. Sir, do you really think donut's the right answer? Yeah, I didn't think so. He's staring at me with like, it looks like he's got olives for eyes. Okay, let's start my strategy. My strategy. So, so far, I have been the world's greatest teacher. I have gotten every single problem right for 100 problems. Now I'm going to get them all wrong and see if the students get smarter. Okay, so I'm going to give him an A plus for thinking that 257 plus 487 equals donut. A plus. He, what? That was a strange face. That was a strange face that he made. I don't know if he was happy or sad. Uh, complete the appropriate number. 5, 10. Ten uh, oh, 15, 20. That one took me a little too long. I'm going to pretend that 7 is the right answer. So I'm going to give him an A+. Plus. He, oh. Okay, they make evil faces when you give them the right answer when they're wrong. I, I, oh, I got a C. Oh, no. That's my first time not getting an A. Well, let's continue being the world's worst teacher and see if it works. Name the following continent. Yep, it's Billy. It's totally not Africa. It's Billy. Okay. Uh, oh, no. Wait. No, I, I failed her. Oh, no. I accidentally failed her. I was going to say my students are not really getting any smarter from my bad teaching skills. Which one is bigger? Earth, moon, Australia. I mean, if you thought Australia was bigger than Earth, then, then we have a major conversation to have, considering that Australia is a part of Earth. You know what I mean? That would be like saying that my nose is bigger than my head. Uh, although for me, my nose actually might be bigger than my head. But you know what? That is a scientific phenomena. Most people's noses are smaller than their heads. We're going to give him a... F you know what? We're going to have to fail him, right? Because he got the right answer. We're going to have to fail Santa Claus on Christmas. I feel bad about this. Fail! Australia's act... My test was correct. I'll sue you. Oh my gosh. This dude is threatening to sue me. I can pay $30? Shut up and go to detention? What? Um, yeah, we're going to tell him to shut up and go to detention just to see what happens. This guy, I should have been giving them the wrong answers in the beginning. This is so much more fun. I guess he didn't sue me. I, I'm not exactly sure. Okay, complete the drawing. North, west. South, east. Okay, he, he switched um, west and east. I, in school, I learned never eat shredded wheat, okay? Or, although uh, OB taught me never eat sour wieners, which is just, uh, it's it's OB, okay? It's OB. You could yell at him, not me. Uh, no, west is not that way and east is not that way. But because he got the answer wrong, we're going to give him an A+. Plus, and he gives me a, a, the evilest smile again. Okay, this is starting to freak me out. What causes erosion? Wind, moving water, all of the above. Actually, I'm pretty sure that's correct. Like, when I think of erosion, I think of water, but I think there is wind erosion. Like, if it's very windy, it could... Oh, you know what? This isn't a science class. So, because she got the answer right, I'm gonna fail her. Oh, my test was correct. I'll sue you. You know what? Let's pay her off. Let's give her $30. Oh, she liked that. Oh. Okay, she liked getting $30. You know what? I wish that my students just paid, or my teachers paid me $30 when they got things wrong. Okay, rocks are made of minerals. Uh, I, I actually don't know the answer to this. I assume a rock is made of minerals, and she said false, so I'm going to give her an A. And she gave me another creepy smile. Okay, what land platform has a peak? Uh, that would be a mountain. That's correct, so I'm going to fail her. And she's uh, threatening to sue me again. Okay, I'm going to give her $30 and okay. I'm going to have no money by the end of this. Here we go again with the volcano. I tried to blow it up last time, but it didn't work. Let's try it again. So we're going to fill this entire thing blue. I know that is the wrong answer. What happens if I screw this up? Any day now? Oh, uh, uh, nothing happened. What? Wait a sec. That was disappointing. Wait, I want an explosion. I wanted the volcano to, like, blow up and, you know, uh, set the house on fire or something. Nothing happened. I guess if you do it wrong, nothing happens. And if you do it right, things explode. Wait, let's do it right. Boom. Uh, bop. And, uh, boom. Okay, is that gonna explode now? Or I guess I should say erupt. That erupts confetti. Okay, well, that wasn't as exciting. Complete the word. A-P-P-L-E. Apple. Wait, is that how you spell apple? Uh, I'm gonna give her a... a uh, wait, wait, oh my gosh, it looks weird because it's like, I don't think that's how you, wait, A, no, it's two P's, okay, 
Oh my gosh. I, I'm 29 years old and apparently I don't know how to spell apple. She spelled it wrong. She spelled it apple or Apple. Ap I, I don't know how she spelled it, but that's not how you spell apple. So because she spelled it wrong, I'm going to give her an A. And she is smiling. Okay, uh, form a word with the following letters. I, okay, you know what? Again, I am not an expert in English. In fact, I'm very bad at English. I don't think t crow is a word. Uh, I don't think so. He just literally used the letters above. Wait, let me actually try to come up with a word. C-R, rat, uh, A, R let me know in the comments, what is a five letter word you could make with those five letters? Because I'm too dumb to figure it out. I'm going to give him an A because I'm going to say t crow is a word. Um, uh, circle the adjective in the following phrase, fast. That's actually right, so I'm going to fail him and he's going to threaten to sue me. Okay, I don't think my students are getting any smarter. Let's try one more round. Oh, it's geography. This is my favorite. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure my strategy is backfiring considering this girl thinks that Brazil is Antarctica. Uh, Antarctica is a little bit colder than Brazil. Uh, j just a little bit colder than... Oh, but I'm going to have to give her an A. I'm sticking with my strategy. These students now are going to go about life thinking that Brazil is Antarctica. Okay, this girl just pointed at India and says it's Europe, and I'm going to have to give her an A. Oh, my gosh. This is bad. I found a way to make the students dumber. Hey, this guy got Russia right, which means I'm going to have to fail him. And he is going to sue me for probably thousands of dollars. Well, that was a complete failure. If you want to see more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Check out my other YouTube channel. It's called TFG Vlogs. And I will see all of you in the next video.